The big dog traders, that's the banks, institutions, fund managers, etc., leave their footprints all over the chart. As traders, it is our job to identify those footprints to find great trading opportunities. So those footprints appear where there are some swings in price, where the traders were, were selling, where they were buying, perhaps where there were some gaps, and then at the end of it you're going to be looking at price moving and wondering where price will be going to. Those footprints are quite obvious when you look at them like that, but it can be a tedious job to identify them, draw precise levels, cross-reference between time frames, calculate Fibonacci levels, etc. etc. So this is where eWaves Harmonics becomes extremely useful. It does much of the analysis for you and saves you a lot of the manual drawing so you can focus on trading the best looking setups. We'll now take a look at the many features of eWaves Harmonics. Just like eWaves V1, eWaves Harmonics identifies an impulsive wave as 3, a corrective wave as 4, and another impulsive wave with divergence on the histogram as 5. It labels the price and the histogram. It uses the waves 3 and 4 to automatically calculate target zones for where price might go to. We're using a test mode here to go back in time to demonstrate this and I press the TZ button and the target zones are displayed. Target zone 1 and target zone 2 which are 61.8 and 100% Fibonacci expansion levels of the 3 and 4 and you can see that target zone 1 was hit very nicely there. You can change the look of the target zones by clicking the TZ button again. And of course there are various target zones as well. A click of the TZ button and target zone 1 and 2 are displayed. And as you might expect price goes down to hit target zone 1 and in this instance goes beyond target zone 2. But you can see FIB levels beyond that that might also act as a magnet for price by pressing the TZ button again. You can use the FIB store to plot wave 3 retracement and extension levels which is very useful for seeing where wave 4 might turn around and where wave 5 might go to in confluence with the target zone levels as you can see. Trend lines can be automatically drawn using our own method to identify the possible end of a wave 4 or a wave 5. Earwave Summonics can alert on breaks of trend lines, either the default ones or your own. In this case, we have a bomb alert on the, the automatically drawn trend line break. Supply and demand zones are a very powerful feature of Earwave Summonics. They show where the sellers and buyers were and might still be waiting. You can see a supply zone where the sellers were, a demand zone where the buyers were, and a supply zone again where the sellers were. There's a continuation demand zone, and note how price reacts to these levels as the bulls and bears fight it out. Support and resistance levels are critical for most price action traders. Earwave Harmonics removes the pain of drawing them. One click of the SNR button to draw, and another click to delete them. You just drag the corner of the rectangle if you'd like to see more support and resistance levels drawn. We find that the levels from a higher time frame work really well on a lower time frame. In this instance we're using daily levels for hourly trading. You can see for yourself how well these levels work. So in simple price action analysis at these levels you can give some fantastic trading opportunities. Would you like to see some information about the waves? No problem. One click of the info button and the details are displayed. Shows the, the number of bars, the number of pips, the average pip size and the angle. And you can change the start of a wave and the information will be recalculated for you.
Natural support and resistance levels come in the form of big round numbers and big big round numbers. One click of the BRNs button and they are displayed for you. In this instance we have the gold ones which are the big big round numbers and the silver ones are the big round numbers. See how well those levels work as support and resistance? Very nice. Gaps are awesome, yet most traders seem to ignore their importance. Click the gaps button, you can see the open gaps, or I click again and you can see closed gaps as well. Gaps show a great deal about trader sentiment, exhaustion for end of moves, momentum for start of new moves and continuation. They can also be used to predict where a swing might go to and provide great support and resistance levels. If you trade the M1 indices, you should love how the gaps help with trading decisions. Too much clutter on your charts? Here's a quick way to clean things up, but leave the things you want to keep. Find the objects that you'd like to keep and just add the word keep to their name. So we're going to keep a couple of trend lines. And we'll keep that price target up there. See, just keep in there and then we'll press the clean button to get rid of everything else gone a quick look at another couple of buttons the zlx shows the zero line crosses as vertical dashed lines the count shows the bar count between the zero line crosses the harmonics button, as you must imagine, draws the harmonics patterns, but there is more on that feature and the snap button in another video. So very quickly, we can see a three drives pattern there where price went down past the TP3 and going down to target price four. We've already seen the test mode being used. It's a very powerful feature of E-Wave harmonics. You can see how the wave counts would have looked back in time. Quickly jump back to the start of your chart or to the end. You can auto scroll to the left and obviously auto scroll to the right. You can also scan for specific waves to practice your technical analysis. Wave three, wave four, or wave five. So let's search for a wave three, click the scroll right, and a wave three has been found. And click again, and another wave three found. Or you can scan for your favorite harmonic pattern. Click on the SHP button and scroll through until you find the pattern that you'd like to find from the CSV file that's set in your options the scroll right button and it'll stop when it's found your pattern you can click on the name to get more information about the pattern or change the variables directly from the chart if you wish target price three work very nicely in this example you can also test up to three time frames synchronized let's see how m15 and the hourly chart compare The higher time frame chart is opened with your default template. And as you scroll, the black vertical line shows a corresponding point in time. It will move as the M15 chart scrolls. The clusters button does a lot of clever stuff in looking for where Fibonacci levels align. There are other videos that cover this feature in more detail, but we'll have a quick look here. Imagine this is the current bar and we want to see where price might go to if the down move continues. There are plenty of options, but we'll just use the auto feature for now. It takes two swings, plots the cluster levels, the purple lines, And that worked brilliantly. E-Waves Harmonics 
is a very comprehensive trading tool with numerous clever features to help you identify fantastic trades. Have a look at the free trader training course if you would like to learn how to trade with these many great features. Thank you for watching. Happy pipping.